Hi there, Dave with Crandall Office, and today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at the new Herman Miller Vantam gaming chair. We're gonna be going over all the features and all the adjustments individually so that you can learn how to adjust the chair and really make it fit you. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first adjustment we're gonna take a look at on the new Vantam gaming chair is gonna be the simple height adjustment. Uh, all chairs have this uh, nowadays, but it's gonna be, uh, we'll show you anyway. This is gonna be, you put weight in the chair, you're gonna pull this lever upwards, it's gonna go down. Uh, to raise the chair, you're gonna get out of the chair, take weight off of it, and then pull that lever, it's gonna come right back up. Real quick and simple adjustment. All right, next adjustment we're gonna take a look at is the adjustable arms on the Vantam chair. And as you can see, these arms go up and down on both sides, and they also are gonna slide forward, backwards, in and out. So you can see I got four ways of adjustment here on these arms uh, and they also go up and down. Real quick and easy, the button to adjust the height is gonna be here. The uh, actual arm pad top that's gonna float around is actually just a free floating design so you don't need to press any buttons to adjust where those arm pads are sitting. All right, so now let's take a look at the seat depth adjustment on the Herman Miller Vantam gaming chair. And that's gonna be activated with this lever here on the right hand side of the chair when you're sitting in the chair. And you're gonna pull this lever and then you're gonna be able to slide the seat back and forth. Uh, and as you can see, uh, I do recommend uh, actually getting out of the chair to make this adjustment uh, because it is a little bit sticky here on our specific chair. You can see I really kind of need to work and hold this chair. It's not going to be one that you can really adjust while you're sitting in the chair. Uh, that said, you really don't make that adjustment all that often once it's set for you. So not a big deal there, but I definitely wanted to mention that it is a little bit sticky on our specific chair. Uh, that said, having a seat depth, seat depth adjustment is going to be a great feature to have on your chair. All right, so the next major adjustment we're gonna be taking a look at on the Bantam is gonna be the tilt limiter, or what we like to call the variable stop tilt lock. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to change how far back the chair leans. And as you can see, I can lean all the way back in the chair. Uh, this has actually got six positions to it, and they're actually labeled here right on this knob where you're gonna adjust it. And so right now, I'm in position six, and so I can lean all the way back. So if I wheel it all the way back up to one, it's going to stop me from leaning back at all. Uh, one thing I do want to note on this is that it does seem to lock upright pretty well, uh, better than a lot of chairs. Um, it, it really kind of stops you. You do have some flex in the back that's kind of built in, but it, it doesn't have that kind of little bit of play that you find in a lot of other chairs. Uh, and as I said, there's six different positions, so you can really kind of fine tune this to adjust and lean back as far as what is comfortable to you. Um, and the other nice thing I did want to note is that on this dial, there's actually labels for the six different positions, so you know exactly where you are. Um, that's a kind of a nice feature. Uh, that said, I'm so used to, with most chairs, not having that, that it's not really something I'm probably gonna reference, but it's nice to have there uh, in case that is something that you will find helpful. All right, so now let's take a look at the tilt tension on the Vantam chair. And that's gonna be here located on the right-hand side of the chair on this red dial. Uh, and this is gonna adjust how much pressure it takes to lean back in the chair. And as you can see, I, it's pretty easy for me to lean back in the chair right now. And I'm on position one. And so I'm gonna crank this up. There are seven different positions on this. So it's not gonna be a traditional turn it until you're comfortable. There's actual different positions here that you can click into that's gonna adjust how much tension there is. And I've got it dialed all the way up here. And as you can see, it's I've got to put in some force to really lean back in this chair. And then you've got various different positions in between. So you can really fine tune the level of adjustment that you have here uh, as far as how much pressure you need to push into to lean back. Uh, good amount of variability here. I, I like, uh, again, that they do put the numbers on this dial so you can really kind of figure out exactly where you are uh, if you do need to reference that. So the next thing I do want to talk about is going to be what Herman Miller calls their forward leaning alignment on this Phantom chair. And what that essentially is, is going to be what is commonly known to as a forward tilt design. Uh, and you see that on the Herman Miller Aeron chair as an adjustment that you can activate and deactivate. This just kind of has it by default always set. So you can't deactivate it. Uh, but I did want to mention it and make sure that people understand that this does have a bit of a forward cant to it when you're sitting in it, especially when you have this back locked in the upright position. All right, so next let's take a look at the Posture Fit Lumbar, which is kind of a design feature that they stole from the Herman Miller Aeron chair uh, that's pretty iconic. And as you can see, when we turn it around, it looks like the new Posture Fit Lumbar that you see on the new Aeron. And just like that, if you turn this knob, and it's got knobs on both sides, um, you're gonna see that it's gonna push further into your back and provide some additional lumbar support in the back. Uh, it is really kind of focused towards the center and there is no height adjustment along with that, but you can adjust how much pressure is pushing into your lower back with this Posture Fit Lumbar. 
All right, so the next back support I wanna take a look at is gonna be the thoracic support, or what I would consider an upper back support on the Herman Miller Vantam chair here. Uh, and that's gonna be this, this kind of swivel support here that provides some additional upper back support. Um, and it, as you can see, it kind of takes some design cues from the posture fit lumbar below it. Uh, it is not adjustable as far as how much pressure gets pushed in. And I didn't see that Herman Miller Axer actually advertises that you can remove this, but as you can see, it's just held on with a little bracket here. So I can pull this out if I'm finding that there's too much support in here, and then I can pop it right back in if I find that I want that support. Um, I like that you can remove and, uh, and replace it very quickly and easily to kind of customize to you. Um, but uh, as I said, there's not gonna be an additional support for how much pressure is pushing into your upper back on this one, uh, but still a good option and does provide some additional support in your upper back. So the last major feature we wanna take a look at on the Bantam Gaming Chair is gonna be the headrest that you see behind me. And that as of uh, early on into the product life cycle, uh, we're, we're within the first week of this being released, um, this is not an optional component. It does come with every chair that you purchase. Uh, whether or not you install it or not is up to you, uh, but it does come with every chair. And so let's take a closer look at it. As you can see, uh, the first adjustment we're gonna have here is gonna be a height adjustment. And you can see this, this goes quite a bit higher than I need it to be. Uh, I'm not the tallest guy, I'm about 5'8", just for reference. And, um, and as you can see, then you can lower it down to where you need it to be. Um, I will note that the height adjustment on this uh, on this headrest is a little bit stiffer than, than many that we've seen. And as you can see, it really takes some force. I kind of recommend getting out of the chair to adjust it. That's how I found best to adjust it, especially getting into the specific area that you want. And as you can see, I really need to provide some, some pressure to get, really get it down. It's got a lot of good ratchet positions, but I, it, it takes some force to get adjusted. Um, that said, I don't think it's going to move on you after you adjust it to where you need it to be, which is a common complaint we see on a lot of headrests. Um, so it's a little bit of a pro and con. I would like to be able to adjust it more from the sitting position, but as you can see, it's got a lot of adjustment in the height, uh, but it is a little bit difficult to adjust. But uh, no buttons need to be pressed or anything, just kind of moves up and down. So one thing I've noticed that as I'm playing with this is um, if I put this kind of in its lowest most position and kind of put my, my traps here into it, I can kind of lift it with my shoulders into a pretty good position. Uh, and that might be the best way to kind of adjust this to fit you. And again, it's not really gonna move up and down once you have it adjusted. Um, and then after the height is adjusted, now you have, as you can see, this is gonna pivot up and down here. Uh, and it's gonna have some rotational. So as I push it to the more upright position, you're gonna see how it pushes further out on the bottom. And really you can kind of fine tune it to what fits you best. And that feels pretty good right there to me. Um, but it, it really allows you to kind of fine tune how far it out it sticks and pushes into your, into your neck there, which is kind of a nice feature. Uh, and this is, I will note, uh, quite a bit easier to adjust this rotational pad than it is the up and down motion of the headrest. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on how to adjust your new Herman Miller Vantam gaming chair. If you found this video helpful, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. If you've got any questions at all about this chair or any other chairs, don't hesitate to reach out to us at our website, crandalloffice.com, our Facebook page, or anywhere else you can reach us. We're always here to help. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Uh, what all the adjustments are, and I kind of flopped that. Flub, blub, 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 All of it's, gosh, I had it, and I, and I lost it because we were talking about this other stuff. Okay, I'll get there. So without further ado, let's, I didn't look at this camera at all. <laughs> what did I say? How did I say uh, that? Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on how to adjust your new Herman Miller Vantam gaming chair. If you've... I'm struggling today. I need some sleep. Okay, so you got all that. Great. <laughs>